The Emerald Hills and Glens of Ballybucklebow in Northern Ireland get a new visitor in An Irish Country Doctor, a novel by Patrick Taylor. This endearing story follows the experiences of a young doctor who begins his practice in the Irish countryside with all its colourful characters. Welcome, Patrick. Thank you, Crystal. Nice to be here. What's an Irish country doctor about? It's about a frustrated columnist sitting on a hundred thousand words of column being told to go and write a novel about these characters. So I had to somehow come up with a unifying theme to allow me to string the anecdotes together as part of an ongoing story and to have those stories intertwine with each other so that I could bring a resolution at the end of the book at a wonderful garden party where everybody gets drunk. So all the stories come together to a conclusion. Uh, and in order to figure out what that driving force was, it struck me that the relationship between a young, wet-behind-the-ears doctor, fresh out of medical school, and a crusty, eccentric, middle-aged, old gaffer could have merit as the central theme to the book. Is the story based on your own journals? As an author, you know, you have to sit down and say, well, if such and such happened, what, what would the character feel? And sometimes it perhaps reflects what I might feel. Um, the journals, when I was a very young man, I was moonlighting, I was taking specialty training, but I could make a bit of extra money doing weekend night calls for general practitioners. And it struck me that there was a rich, rich mother load of funny characters in Ireland, so I kept some journals about some of the odder things that happened. In writing this book, how important was authenticity to you? The authenticity of the Irish countryside the authenticity of the Belfast North County dialect, uh, the authenticity of the climate, were all very important to me. The actual physical setting, Ballybuckle Bow, is a figment of my fevered imagination. And it, as I say in the introduction, it's about as real as Glockamora or um, Brigadoon. It's fictional, it's a mythical place. But the people are the way I remember them. The countryside is the way I remember it, and certainly the language is the language I spoke for the first 30 years of my life. In the back of the book, you have a glossary of the Ulster dialect. Why is that there? Because there are some weird expressions. I mean, if I said to you, and you tried to do something, you didn't come within a bagel's gowl of it, you wouldn't know what I was talking about. How do you hope this story will affect readers? I hope they'll find the characters credible, I hope they'll find the storyline interesting, I hope they'll laugh a bit. There's some bits in it I hope they'll cry a bit. And at the end of it they'll put it down and they'll say, and that fella I was asked a question at the start of his interview, what's the book about, and I've read it, and you know I'm damned if I know, but I enjoyed it. An Irish Country Doctor is a tender and down-to-earth story that will delight you through and through and leave you yearning for a trip to Ireland.